Okay, this lesson for the Cornet Project class concerns the correlation, the strength of it between, that is, the strong correlation between patho, persuasion, and akuo, hearing. The text we'll be using is Luke 16, 31, and it concerns the rich man who lift up his eyes in hell being in torment. He appealed to Father Abraham to send someone back from the dead and his brothers about whom he was now concerned would repent. And this is the response Abraham made. And those of you working on your lessons will do that while we're working this. Apen, he said, he said, da, but he said, alto, very basic stuff here, to him, him, since Moseos, Moseos, from Moses, from Moses, Kai, and Tone, from the Prophet, pro Phaeton from the prophets U not and then Aku, there it is, Aku from Akuo, and then we have our present active ending, our primary active ending that is Usin, Usi with a removable knee, so they are hearing. Of course, we have the not. So he says, he, but he said to him, since they are not hearing from Moses and from the prophets, you remember Jesus said that the law and the prophets and the Psalms speak of him. So they're, they're not hearing. They're not hearing. Ude, he says, Ude, neither. Et on, conditional, if, and it's possible if, a certain one, there we go, a certain one, ek, out from, and then necron, corpses, on a, on a stay, yeah, that's aorist indicative active, if, a certain one might stand, and that's got up, and that's from stand, might stand up, out from corpses, neither, and then here's our word here, we're going back to this one, aku, neither, it says pace, face, on tie. Now, you recognize that very easily. You remember this from the noun, pace, monet. Notice that's something very familiar. As you study these words, you'll see parts. So it says, neither, this is future, passive. Yes, neither will they be persuaded. Neither will they be swayed if a certain one might stand up out from corpses. So now we're noticing that persuasion, let's say patho, and now akuo, they're a very strong correlation. That is, this has much to do with gaining the audience the hearing. So... It's a good lesson, Luke 16, 31, go through this, correct anything I may have missed, which uh, isn't unusual for that to happen, because I'd rather do the work, write it out, we can go through and review it with all of our analytic tools and things like that, but the primary thing is, is we're noticing this idea, the emphasis in the Bible for us and our responsibility is heralds of the gospel, k sown, heralds, proclaimers, uh, 
Yuan Galizo, the act correctly announce as evangelist, correct announcers, is all emphasis on persuade. Knowing the terror of the Lord, the fear, we persuade all men. Persuasion. Here we've learned that if there's not a hearing for the message of Moses and the prophets, which was about Jesus the Christ, then they wouldn't be persuaded. You couldn't gain them, gain a hearing from them if one were to stand, if one might stand out from corpses, which tells us that the word of God, again, stands this correct message, the gospel of the Old Testament. We still have that. Moses and the prophets declaring Jesus as Jesus said. All the law, the prophets, and the Psalms speak of him. So we still have that Old Testament proclamation by the Father who sent the prophets to make the declaration. Moses, as Jesus said, if you had believed Moses but you didn't, then you would have believed in me, but you won't believe in me, and they did not believe in him. So now we know that the gospel is superior to even the event, the antics or tactics, if we will, of the hyperbole here, the superlative that is, go as far as you could go in the uh, what it would take. And he says even someone rising out from the dead wouldn't do that which is exclusively accomplished. So our audience is gained by the preaching of the gospel, the persuasion is by Christ Jesus. Remember the Great Commission. He said, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. This living reality of the full engagement of Christ accompanying we with him, he with us, in this work of going into all the world to preach the gospel, make disciples. So have a blessed day. But this lesson is brief, but it's really a strong lesson about the correlation and how strong is it between patho and akuo, especially in this text. So have a blessed day.